There's so much to see here today. We're touring a Sunnyvale Eichler today. And this one especially has a lot of internal space. It has separated family living areas in a couple of spaces. And I think that's really exciting. Sometimes Eichlers are known for having a little bit smaller bedrooms. This one you'll see is larger. Let's go take a look. This house was built in 1962, which is on the late side for Eichler. Inside, this house is 2,538 square feet, and it sits on an 8,364 square foot lot. This one on the front side has these not just full length windows, but they're diamond cutouts. So the cutouts are floor to ceiling and they also go up to the roof line. So the roof line mirrors. I think that's really an interesting architectural detail. Eichler at this point was moving away from the straight lines. He was still letting light in wherever possible, but he was adding some interesting architectural angles by this time. We're gonna start here in the kitchen and the family room. This kitchen has been updated, but it maintains the original space of the house and the original globe lights. Off to the side of the kitchen, we see here what could easily be made into the fifth bedroom space. There is even a closet space over on the left-hand side. This home is four bedrooms and three full bathrooms, plus a small office. Coming out, we have the formal dining area and it is not separated, but it is part of the living room. And then of course, the glass to the backyard and the formal living room. We see here an original planter. They've taken out the dirt, but it still represents a kind of a cool feature that I haven't seen in a lot of other Eichlers. We're gonna wrap back around and we find ourselves back in the kitchen. Then there's a door over to the side. That's the garage. Let's go check that out. The two car garage is fairly original. It has the naked concrete floor and the naked walls. It even has the original sliding side-by-side -side doors. Back in the house and off the living room, we're gonna go explore the primary suite. First, we have a wall of glass outside and you're looking over the backyard. This primary suite is one of the biggest that I've seen in an Eichler. You can kind of get a sense of the scale because of the nightstands on either side. Then when you go through to the ensuite, we have an Eichler closet with the built-in dresser inside of it below one of the rods. Moving through, we come to the updated bathroom and it does have quite a generous size shower. Down the hall, we come to a big surprise. This is a family room, genuine bonus space. It is in between what we're gonna call two kids' bedrooms. Now, to be clear, this is the area where you would put the laundry. We can see the laundry hookups here. But you also have a TV and access to this little sitting area that's outside. One of the bedrooms, again, this could be a kid's bedroom, but it's generous size. This is not a small bedroom. Then we come to the little sitting area that kind of acts as a light well, and it's cut out of the house, so it adds privacy and sound barrier. Then we pass by this, what we're gonna call a Jack and Jill shared bathroom for the two bedrooms. And then we come to the front bedroom, which is again, massive. The post and beam construction is on full display, and then the floor to ceiling windows. We're gonna travel back from here into the shared bathroom. This bathroom kind of comes in two stages. One stage is the tub and the toilet, and there's a glass door out into the backyard. And then the front area includes a window and then the sink vanity and a little bench.
Now, wait for it. There's another surprise. There's a second suite here. Right off the family room and behind a private door, first we come to the ensuite bathroom. There's a separate vanity area and then a shower and toilet. From there, we head into a massive room where we can see the diamond-shaped cutouts that we featured at the front of the house at the start of this video. This is really an oversized room, especially for what we typically see in an Eichler. And this is the room that wraps around and has access and sliding glass doors out to the atrium. From the living room, let's head out into the backyard. From here, it's a really interesting multi-level terraced brick and wood combination. But what they have done here is showcase what I believe are unbelievable olive trees. So here's one. And a lovely palm tree. And then all along the back fence and moving right along to this last mature one on the side and if you can see there are steps so it's this sunken multi-level entertaining area they have this stage with a fire pit over here and then down to an entertaining and a table area. From the back, we can see not only the very interesting roof lines, but also there's really a sense that this, this house has much more square footage than some of the other Eichlers that we've looked at. How did you like that? Wasn't that great? And here we are finishing with an Eichler with a tree in it in the courtyard. Love that. Okay, if mid-century modern is your jam, let's have a conversation. If it's time for us to start looking or it's time for you to sell, I would love to become your real estate resource of choice.